second now. Southern are going from a corner. Come on. Look who's with me. Look who's with us. Go, John Sony. Any minute now. Any minute. Get the moment on camera. All the years of misery, we deserve this. First and foremost, that win is for everyone who's passed away over the last year. Louise Wanless, Michael Waggett, whoever else I forget to mention, please list them below. Um, that was for you. You've not been, you cruelly, you weren't there to, just, you weren't there to see us uh, get, get from away, basically. And what a turnout. What a turnout from the fans. What a turnout just from everybody. And even the Wickham fans, to be fair, they got, what was it, well over 20 or 20,000? Some, some of that might have been Newcastle fans being obsessed, but you know, I don't care. Majority of that will have been Wickham fans, I hope, and, and it's all fair play. Um, I like Gareth Ainsworth and I've got no issue with Wickham as a club. I don't mind the way they play, I know a lot of people do, but if it's effective for you, why do you change it? As for the game itself, apart from the one chance Sam Vokes had when Bailey Wright missed time to head in the second half, which he really should have scored. Um, other than that, I actually thought we were quite comfortable. Um, maybe there was another chance Wickham had that I've missed and maybe I was watching a different game. But um, Sutherland had a chance with Ross Stewart in the second early start of the second half on top of the two goals. Uh, Elliot Embleton's goal, to be fair, was very well hit. Although if I was a Wickham fan, I'd be livid at the way they just allowed him to run at them. No one closed him down whatsoever and just allowed him to shoot. And maybe David Sox still be disappointed with that. And obviously me and my mates Dan Andrew were just saying that um, for Ross Stewart's goal, very, very calm in the way he placed it into the bottom corner. Um, and from there, was, from there, I knew we were going to be all right because I felt with Alex Neal and the way we've been defending, we wouldn't be conceding two goals from that position. Um, but you never know, Sutherland never liked to do it the easy way. Um, and yet, finally promoted at long last. It's not arrogant to say that for me, it came. It took three, at least three years longer than it should have done. That doesn't make any sense, actually, because we wouldn't be getting promoted if we didn't drop it the big one. Never mind. It took about three years longer for me than it should have done. Um, but nevertheless, we are out of it, and this is a great opportunity to finally make steps back to where we actually should be. Um, and I feel for the likes of, you know, Derby, Ipswich, Chef Wed, uh, Charlton, amongst others that I'm going to be forgetting to mention here, Portsmouth as well, when people say that they're, out, they're going to be... So I warn you, the likes of Chef Wed and Derby in particular, you're going to get people saying you're arrogant for wanting to go up, and don't believe them for a second. It's not arrogant for one minute, because those clubs shouldn't be in that division. We found that out. It's... It's a tough league to get out of, but I don't think it's a good division. I think it's tough because everyone, a majority of teams treat you like a cup final, even though they say that you're just a League One club, which makes absolutely no sense. But anyway, um, there's not much more to say. I, obviously, my video's up a little bit later, but I wanted to take in the moment. I wanted to take in the moment that we've finally gone out of this division. And the next thing we need to do is tie Alex Neal down to a contract. I was hesitant to say he's done a brilliant job um, before this game. Now I can say it. Absolutely fantastic job. He came in when the squad was very low in confidence, averaged over two, around two points per game in his 15 league games in charge, one defeat in something like, I think is it 17 games now? One defeat in... Um, yeah, no, sorry, one defeat in 16 games, including the playoffs, and we've got promoted. Finally, at long last, we can enjoy it. I'm going to head off. I need, I need a break for the summer. I really do need a break. Um, anyway, I'm going to try and get 4,000 subs in the future. If you can, like, comment, and subscribe if you wish to. It'll be mean a lot. And we're promoted. Come on. Come right on. Subscribe to all the other YouTubers. Every one of them. They deserve it. And it was great to see a hammered Jamsani. I'm not going to let him forget it. Take care. Love you lots. And stay safe. How are the lads?